Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World, the game. But today, we're not starting inside the game. No, 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 no. Today, we're going to be starting in YouTube Inception. So, there is actually a new update coming to Jurassic World, the game, concerning VIP. And after searching Jurassic World, the game, VIP update... Uh, three of my videos pop up. The first one, of course, is Jurassic World, the game, the actual thing we're looking for. And then it's just kind of funny. The second one, the second one comes up is mine. It says, don't get VIP explained. <laughs> and then, that's three years ago. My God, I remember making that video uh, on the thumbnail. And then the second one is how to hack to get free VIP. <laughs> oh, dear. Which we don't support. We don't support that kind of thing. But hey, Lydia doesn't seem to stop anyone, so that's a thing. But anyway, let's have a look what can happen. Because if we scroll down, actually, you'll see there. That's the video. Eight months ago, from recording this video, I said, I, I'm done with VIP. I'm not going to get it anymore. And a lot of people were like, oh, yep, yep, 100% makes sense. I haven't done it. And there was a few people that did say, people don't do that because you're going to end up losing all of that progress. Now... I've got a few things to address because this new update is good and bad. Skip the advert. Okay, here we go. Hello, fellow dinosaur trainers. I'm Keith and I'm the community manager for Jurassic World The Game. Hello, Keith. Today, we're going to talk about some exciting upcoming changes to the VIP program. There's a lot to talk about, so let's get to it. Right. So, VIP center. First thing you'll notice is that the DNA building in your park has now been replaced by a VIP so center. So, he here, this is the first one I want to pause on for a second. They say that the DNA building is gone. And instead, we have a VIP headquarter building. Uh, this raises the question, what happened to the DNA building? And if we continue, let's find out. This VIP center is your hub for all things VIP, including to learn perks that you can receive by signing up for VIP. Okay, so we'll just pause that there. So, monthly VIP benefits. Unlock new benefits after each VIP month. Current amount available, zero eggs, zero DNA, and zero boosts. Now, this is really good. This is something that should have been probably, of course, uh, with the VIP when it first started. So every month that you keep your VIP membership, you get these buildings. Now, I have all, spoilers throughout the whole time of this uh, advert. They never mention what happens when you cancel VIP. So when I canceled, I lost my DNA building, my production building, gone completely. Uh, they never mention anything about this. But let's get in. Let's before we uh, start uh, looking at all these buildings, let's let, let's have them explained. And everything you earn with the new monthly calendar that VIP now has to offer. You'll notice so that the first thing earn is the oh God. DNA oh, building. Oh, there we go. Just pause that. So there's up to seven months. So we've got a DNA building. You've got the... So month one, DNA building. Month two, food production. Month three, VIP instant creation lab. Month four, super DNA production site. And so on and so forth. Um, now, this is interesting. So the first month is a DNA production site. So something that you should already have got. Um, and I'm, I'm going to say, uh, it's, I'm, I'm looking at this now. It says up to 1,200 DNA per 12 hours. That sounds like the max DNA building already. None of this, like, you know, a little bit of DNA and then you upgrade it and then a little bit more DNA. It looks like straight away you get 1,200 DNA straight away within 12 hours. That's good. It kind of sucks to everybody who got VIP before, but that in itself is good should already be unlocked for those of you who are already a VIP. So this is already unlocked, apparently, because if you've already got, you know, VIP, then you've already got the building. It just means it's going to disappear and you're going to get it again. The DNA production site works just like it did with the old iteration of VIP. The more times you collect from it, the more you can upgrade it. Just like the regular DNA building, the more you collect from it, the more you upgrade it. Now, does this might actually apply to every other building. Uh, which sucks. So I get the feeling that even if I kept my VIP and this update came out, I would have to start again. So actually, all I've done is save money because I don't need DNA. I've got plenty of dinosaurs to sell. Um, I really think there should be something in the game that just allows you, if you've already got it, what level it is, you should get it instantly back to what level you had it. I don't think that's going to be the case. I think you're going to lose all that. So that sucks. 
upgrade it, the more DNA is earned. You can place the DNA building anywhere you want in your park. Once placed, you can move it if you do not like it where it is currently. That's good. That's good. I like that. The VIP food factory produces food for your dinosaurs. Unlike the regular food production site, Again. this one doesn't cost any coins. All you have to do is place it in your park and then collect from it once it's full. That's, what, that's interesting. I now like we're that. going to talk about the instant creation lab. What it does is it instantly allows you to fuse two creatures together, no mistakes, instantly. To use it, you just have to go to where you regularly fuse your creatures together, and you'll be prompted if you want to use it or if you want to fuse them together normally. Now the that VIP is SDNA actually stop, stop, stop. That is actually really good. Um, the fact that uh, you can fuse it without failing, but it gets even better. This is a good one as well. This building allows you to create SDNA. Just open up the building. You'll see a slot at the top for you to place your SDNA and on the bottom, the possible SDNA choices. Simply drag one of those choices into the top box. At the very top of that, it said five super DNA every 24 hours. That is horrendously low. Five? And you've already got to pay like what three or four months worth to even unlock that building and every day you get five You already get five for being a VIP and then you get five more for this building I mean, I guess you log in you get if you know by week now sorry month nine You can have five lots of five which is 25 DNA in total, but that is incredibly low incredibly low This lab allows this one is dinosaur good. who is in cooldown after a battle to instantly be recovered and to be able to use it straight away. To use it, simply select the dinosaur that's on cooldown and use the charge and your dinosaur will be good oh, to go. Oh, I know what I'm using that on. Oh god, and then this is the best. VIP Instant Hatchery. This building allows you to instantly hatch a dinosaur. It creates a charge and when you go to hatch a dinosaur, you can use that charge to instantly hatch it without waiting any amount of time. Well, this concludes the changes being made and to the And there you program. go. That is it. So, we have a hatchery, which is... Really, the hatchery is the best. <laughs> like on the top comment, you can't see it here. Um, we've got somebody... Uh, Murph17 says, Beaver's gonna have a stroke. And then Unicorn Wizard, who's second, says, The game Beaver is going to go mad out of this, probably. Oh, oh, that's great. I love it. I love it. Okay, so that's that. Now let's jump in to Jurassic World the game. We'll jump straight back in. Oh, yeah. So what do I think about that? Is it good? Is it bad? I think it's it's a mix. It's a mix. So this DNA building is going to disappear. Uh, also, when that update comes out, uh, there's going to be a level cap increase. So from 85 to 90. So that's, that's nice. Um, there's also going to be more exploration on uh, site B, Isla Sauna, so more excavation sites, which is quite nifty. Um, so, oh, I didn't even realize we could do that. Well, you know what? Why not, eh? And we can't do that yet, I don't think. I think for VIP, that is a much needed overhaul of just the entire thing. The VIP wasn't that great, especially seeing as books were taken out of everything. Um, the things that are unique, like these packs, the 50,000, 8,000 pack, are not worth it at all. Um, especially for the creatures that you get there. The creatures that you get in the VIP exclusive VIP packs are the same as just regular VIP packs. Uh, so there really is no need. And especially when this game, you know, it favors you getting loads of different dinosaurs. You don't want to spend... The, what, hundreds of thousands of VIP points on one creature. For, for me to get level 20... Acrocanosaurus, it's 100,000. I could get, what, 10, 10 other creatures in here. Possibly, if I got lucky, got eight of the same one, get a level 40, and then a level 20 of something else, if they were all the same. But you're going to get a variety, and that's why it like this is just so good. Now, the thing that would, in my eyes, make me want to get VIP is if this all these packs were only for VIP. I don't think they should do that because then that's a... Oh, that's so... That, you, you can't just take that back. They've done it in the past, but not to that extent. If they did that now, there would be a huge uproar, especially from me, because I suggest, I said that that would be... But no, don't do it. Um, and I like how they've put Pterodactylus back into the Solid Gold pack. That's great. You know what? Let's open one. Let's open one. What are we going to get, guys? 
200 bucks and a Tylosaurus. Beautiful. So we have three minutes until the Palaeosuchus or Peleus. What is it called? This one comes to an end. And we are in Dominator League. The lowest 1,477. I had to play... 40 matches, because I hadn't touched this since I recorded last in order to get that. But before we, well, in two minutes, we'll get that. Look! Yes, it is finally ready. Leeds Ichthys in that event. Oh, yeah! So we now have a level 10. But also, I'm so sorry. I want to put this at the start of the video. Maybe I'll put it in the start of the video now. Um, I mentioned in the link in the description below that I have a Discord and... If you want to go chat anything dinosaur related, all you can find all the different channels for different games. But I asked, what is the worst trade you hi you guys had managed to get? So, I've pulled two of these trades. This is the first one from Tactical Tic Tac. This is a custom trade. For one Udon, you get 50 cash. <laughs> I couldn't believe that. <laughs> like, there's obviously a cap. It doesn't matter what quit you put in, you get 50. It must do, because that Udon is not worth that. And for a regular trade, the worst, has to go with Jonathan. One Rajasteger trading for 4 million food. A Rajasteger. 4 million food. Couldn't believe it. There you go. There's your shout out. Uh, also, if you've got a terrible trade, do put it in that um, in that group. I, I do like to check and just see what all, like any memes, best memes, anything like that. Put a picture, chat, meet people, have fun. It's a good old time. And you might get shout out in the next video. So, there you have it. Uh, so, we have Leeds Ichthys. Uh, strangely enough, Leeds Ichthys is a filter feeder. Not this one. This Leeds Ichthys is a carnivore. Oh, well, I mean, they're kind of carnivores anyway. But look at it, eating live fish. That's ridiculous. I'm just kind of curious in the evolutions tab. Leeds Ichthys has over 40,000 teeth within its massive jaws. What a dental record. Um, though enormous, the Leeds Ichthys mostly fed on plankton. Filtering it through the... Well, did it? Yours didn't. And what level 40? Ooh. Can we up the brightness on that? I think we've already seen it. Yeah, I think I've seen it anyway. Um, well, there you go. It, I think... Well, what was that? It is possible Leeds Ichthys was preyed on by smaller carnivore sea creatures like Lyoplorodon and Metrodancus. Mission complete! Oh, there it is! The Plyo Suches pack! Oh, happy days! So, unfortunately, we got 5,000 uh, DNA, which we didn't want, but we did get 500 bucks and Plesio Suches. Oh, as well as 1,300 VIP points. And there it is, a level 40, 4,321 health and 900 attack. That is really good. For a tournament creature. Normally tournament creatures aren't that great. It's VIPs that are. But damn. Damn that's good. So well. This is where that VIP would pay off for me completely. I think when this VIP comes out. I will cancel my fidelity subscription. And go with VIP. Because I could save myself 1,680 bucks right there with the instant hatchery. Not only that, but when I'm doing loads of battles, like, and you guys do loads of battles, you, you know, sometimes the creatures, oh, there's leads like these, fantastic. Uh, sometimes the creatures aren't done. How about instead of waiting, what is it, two or three days for your best creature? Pu just use that boost, use that boost. I think that's really good. I think it's also important to keep on uh, supporting uh, I know that people uh, want to hack, and it's very tempting, um, uh, but I think, you know, supporting through VIP or Fidelity, or however you choose, whether you want to waste your money on packs, <laughs> it's up to you, I've done it in the past, so I'm a bit of a hypocrite, but however you want to do it, I think supporting Ludia is very important, without all the money I sent them from buying packs, obviously. <laughs> and, uh, you know, like playing the game, uh, supporting through VIP, and all of you guys, of course, not just me. <laughs> Who thought that was ridiculous? Um, that, because of support like that, we've got Jurassic World Alive, and that is such a good game, as well as continued support for this. Yes, we lost Jurassic Park Builder, but did really anybody play it? Probably not. I don't think anybody played it. Uh, but how about we just, you know, just do it. We just, 1,000 bucks. Let's get Plyo Sutures. How good is Plyo Sutures? I mean, at level 1, 780 and 162 attack. Pretty darn good. And let's feed it. Oh, 
They've inverted. Oh, have they? No. Is it? Is this a different animation? Whoa. 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 Is that new? Or is it just have I not seen it? Ooh. Wow. That was cool. I feel like I haven't seen that in ages. Did it bump the camera? That was a nice little nifty animation. Did, does it bump the camera? It, well, oh, something bumps the camera. That's quite nice. Oh, yes. Yum, 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 yum. So let's get him to level 10. 1,170 health and 244 attack. Pretty decent. Um, yeah, I mean, at level 20, that's probably when it's going to be able to be used. And level 20 is probably where we want to buy it. So it's 8,900 DNA. Is, now, let's compare it. Is it good? In comparison to an Edistus, it has more health and more attack. And it is 100 cheaper. Oh, yes. It's very good. Now, I'm going to wait. Um, I think, yeah, VIP exclusive 20% off and regular 10% off. I'm going to wait till we get a hot discount for the aquatics before I buy loads of them. Just because. Uh, well, I'll tell you what. Because I love you guys. We'll buy one. We'll buy one. And we'll speed it up again. That is like a... Whoa, there's so many books. And we will do... Get that to level 20. Now, look at this. You could save books even here and guarantee a charge. Probably once every day, I think it will be. Uh, so I would have saved over 100 bucks. Over 100 bucks if I got that VIP building here. So, there you have it. So, level 20. Uh, well, let's see. Level 20. Uh, 2,003 health and 417 attack. Now, that is much better. That's... The attack is nowhere near the, um, sorry, yeah, the attack's nowhere near Tylosaur, but the health kind of is. So let's zoom in. Oh, look at it. I love the colorings on it. He's got like a little tiger pattern on the back. So let's collect that and collect that. Ooh, what was this? This creature lived during the came Kimmeridge? Kimmeridge stage? Is that right? During the Kimmeridge stage, which is named after a village located on England's Dorset coast. Dorset is where Plesiosuchus fossils were first found. And paleontologists have yet to discover a complete set of Plesiosuchus remains, making it difficult to classify this creature. However, most experts believe it is crocodilian. Ooh. It's from England. Hmm, interesting. So let's collect these and get some uh, DNA back and some VIP points. And of course, we finished first in the Dominator League. Well, not first, but we finished that. So that means we get another 20 so we can buy. Oh, we can buy a... Um, if we go to Super Hybrids, we can buy another Indoraptor. Oh. I didn't realize it was going to go straight in. Didn't realize it was going to go straight in. That's why I switched. Damn it. <laughs> so I hope you guys managed to get your Plesiosuchus. Um... I'm kind of curious, like, what do we got? We've got Capris, we just unlock there. But, like, on the tides. Let's do on the tides. Now, where is Plesiosuchus? Where is Plesiosuchus? There it is. So, it's, it's around about a Styx or so. Uh, level, like, yeah, maybe. Maybe. It has, like, 4,000 health, though. It's way better than um, any of the other tournament creatures, right? Oh, no, there's you, Moon. I think? Isn't that- isn't it way better than human? That's like almost a thousand extra health. Oh well, anyway, I've noticed that Ludia's been very, um, uh, good to me recently because they- every time I start one of these battles, they give me one set of the same, uh, creature type. So all we need is some, I don't know, not really high level, uh, surfaces. And because we've already got three better surfaces, that means for the other three battles, we can have one good surface in each roster. Uh, ooh, 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 he might be able to kill me. He might be able to kill me. I'm not sure. Ooh, in two hits. Oh, he doesn't go for it. Oh, and he can't kill me in one more hit. Ooh, happy day. Gonna go for three reserves. Ah, uh, don't you love double Mondays? Jurassic Mondays. Jurassic World Alive and Jurassic World Again. If you haven't checked out the Jurassic World Alive video, uh, what are you doing? Why, you only like this game? That other game's really good. I mean, this game's really good too. Actually, in the last video, I had an amazing battle. And I'm not a YouTuber to be like, hey, check out the other video. Did you leave a like? You should really check it out. <laughs> but in that last video, those battles, oh, a big brain moment. Big brain moment. I'm going to factor in two there. I'm going to factor in two. Oh, always safe. Always safe to do it. 
Ooh, in comes Lead Zichthys. Oh, we're gonna do it. We need to use Plesiosuchus. I think we need a win with Plesiosuchus. We need to do that. That's that's the task. We need to do it. Uh, one, two, three. Factor in two, just in case. I'm pretty sure it didn't have two block. And it didn't. Takes out Lead Zichthys and brings in... Ooh, Hyneria! A creature we still haven't got maxed up. Because there really is no need. Um, I mean, look at this. Uh, I mean, there's not too many aquatic events. That's the problem. There's not too many aquatic events. So as soon as, you know, maybe there might be two aquatic events. Uh, well, one, you know, Monday and then one Tuesday. Most of my creatures are able to be restored by that time. So unless there's two in a day, two aquatic things, chances are I don't really need it. Uh, oh god, that's a tough team. Okay, so... Ooh. Ooh, that is a really tough team. So, you moon to bait in the cavern. And then Dunkleosaurus. And then maybe a low-level cavern. I think that's good enough. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to go for one reserve. To get that Angelicus in here. And hopefully a ways to go. Because he can't kill me in one. And... Ooh, you know, if he... That's- uh, this is what I don't understand, right? He could have done more damage if he just attacked with two with the Dunkleosaurus. So why did he switch out and then attack? I guess, you know, in the long term, if I do want to attack, he's nerfed my attack. I guess that's the thinking in the bot. But, uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure the bot goes, Oh! He's- we're, we're not good against him. Switch! Unless he can't- if he can kill me in one hit, he won't switch. So, I think he went for an all-out there. So... That being the case, I'm going to go for one block because I know I can't be killed in two. Ooh. Ooh, it's the Titans. Titans of the surface. Megarchalon and Dunkleosaurus. Ooh. One, two. Uh, I think he might have one. I'm going to do that. I don't know. And yeah, he definitely had one. And wah! Takes him out. Brings in Dunkleosaurus. Can't kill me in two, and we've pretty much done it. Ooh, the runt, the immature male takes on the alpha male. You know how? Because I've got all of the fins and the spikes and stuff. And there you have a two out of four victories. Okay, 50. Uh, next one, what's it going to be? Right, okay. So, we need a cavern. Uh, then he'll switch into his surface, which then we need an Archelon and... Then, um, he might switch into his Rizodus and just a good surface, I think. In fact, just Tylosaur. I think that's good. That's the roster we're gonna go with. I'm accepting that. So, 7,000 health for Leptoclitus. Wow. I always think the Gillicus isn't too great. Oh, he didn't swap, really? Oh. Ooh, well, Sodom, let's go for three reserves. Gillicus was supposed to die, but all right. Oh, now you do it, but why? Why? Well, we've definitely won this one. That's awesome. Okay, so we're going for uh, Henodus. Little pancake. One, two, kills him. And I think he went for an attack, so he has nothing. Yeah. Wabba! Little fin slap. Die! Mm, what to do now? Oh, he goes for a swap. Oh, <laughs> oh no, I'm dead. Oh, I'm alive! I live! Okay. Two and then four reserves because you're dead. Whoa! We're probably going to take a loss here, though. He's, yeah, he's going to kill me. He might not, actually. He might not do it because he hasn't got a guaranteed kill. I could have blocked. No! We lost Tylosaurus! How dare you! I'm going to unleash my full potential of 32,000 damage! Whee! <laughs> ah. And he killed them. Mm. That'd be really cool if the winning animation was him eating the other, like, fish. He's like... Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. Okay. Anyway, on the tides. Finally. Cavern. Then... Oh. 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 This ain't so good. Yes, I guess. Because we'll half them. It's not the best. It's not the best. You know what? I'm going to switch it. I'm going to switch them around because... Chances are Orthocanthus, the olden cutfish, is uh I want it to survive. It's gonna it's gonna be more useful here. 
so, because this thing can die in like two hits from anything and go, I, I have to go for a block. Look at him, he's like a parrot. He's a bonnie pallet. A bonnie pallet? A bonnie parrot, not pallet. <laughs> oh, how dare you. Right, so we can go for two block because we're definitely surviving. Look at this thing, it can slice me in two. It wants to go through me shell. Right, three reserves, might as well. Let's hope he goes for three attack or nothing. Oh, that's good. Oh, one of his teeth's weird. We haven't painted the skin weights there correctly. All right, so he went an all-out attack. That's fine because Hainosaur is just needing to die. Woo! It was close. I did check, but I don't think I checked thoroughly. I wasn't 100% sure that was gonna, I was gonna kill it. Okay, so um, I'm just gonna go for four reserves for attack. What I want them to do is. Uh, is um sorry I'm just setting off the I'm setting off the Jurassic World Alive video I'm doing it all on the fly. Whoa! I, yeah, I wanted to extend himself, so he's went for six there. I think that was so I can safely go for that. I think and then three reserves. Yeah, yeah, I thought so. Woohoo! He was excited. Tail wag. So now he, I've lured him because one can definitely kill me, and I've only got three potential three blocks, so he'll definitely go for it. That's how you play it. And finally, to clean house author Ganthus. Is this the third match or the fourth one? Whee! Um, I feel like it might be. That was the last one, I think. Oh, yep, yeah, it's a prize wheel. Damn it. Oh, come on. On the tights. On the tights. Let's get the pack. Oh, come on. Lady, look. Oh, no. 2,000 to spin again? Hey, no, thank you. I ain't doing that. Uh, one carnivores. Oh, yeah, this is what remains of my just trying to blast through the tournament team. <laughs> one carnival. Um, Indominus Rex. Like, come on, let's do this one. Let's see. Let's win another pack. God, we've done so much. You've seen the Zikthys, which isn't even released yet. You have seen the new Pelias, which is level 20. Oh, we didn't win with it. Oh. Oh. I'm so sorry. We didn't win with it. Okay, I'm going to go for that because I think he's got one block. Whoa. Come on, Indominus, you can do this. Oh, I remember getting Indominus level 10. Oh, the good old days. Ah. Were they the good old days, though, James? You've just got fond memories. You're living in the good old days. Oh, yes. Ah. Okay. 50. Only two carnivores now. Okay. Um, well, I've... Uh, I mean, let's just make it even. Yeah, let's let's play like a normal person. We're at like a level 10 Indominus, level 40 Sugamimus Ostrophagosaurus. These are very easily um, gettable dinosaurs. Right, so uh, what should we go for? One, two, three? Yeah, sure, why not? I guess. He's probably... Microposaurus is going to come in and go for two, I think. And then we'll just go for three again. Although, saying that, Sugamimus doesn't have the great attack... Ostrophicosaurus is pretty low as well. Oh my god, 246. Is that enough to get 700? 246. I think that was 800. I think that was 800. Oh god. Woo! Ooh, very close. Another 50 DNA. Three carnivores now. Um, well, I. Uh, yeah, one. Uh, uh, that'll do, yeah. Level 20. Oh, no, I didn't mean to go for a 20 Indoraptor. Damn it. I meant to go for the uh, Bonogamous thing. Damn it. Well, there you go. If it wasn't clear already, we've definitely won this one. Oh, 1,700 attack. Oh, I think we're in trouble here, guys. Slap. Bring in another contender. Going to slap that one, too. Come on, present your cheek. Oh. All right, well, slap. Just one slap will do. <laughs> Can somebody read up, like, Indoraptor? Which is my sound effect of, like, that. <laughs> Just every time it roars. <laughs> I love it. Oh, dear. Oh, that's funny. And anybody who actually is serious about doing that, I'll give you the sound effects. 
Oh my god. That's what we should do. We should have a dub competition. That would be great. Although it would be the same thing kind of over. I'll just do different sounds and then you just add them. In oh my god. That's a video idea. That's a video idea. I have seen uh, some people do amazing uh, dubs. I don't even know why I put those guys in. I did. They're in. No need for them, really. We're going to win this. Um, yeah, I, saw, I don't know who it was, but they did, like, great dubs of Jurassic World with, uh, I think it was me, uh, Connor, uh, Riot, Anthomnia. Yeah, it was some really good ones. Really, really good ones. Wabam! Right. Metri anchors, let's go. You can't do anything, you're dead in one hit, mister. Yeah. Ready, and... I was just playing a whack, actually, not a bite. That was not a good sound effect for a bite. That's why I don't make those dubs. Uh, there you go, Cabra Sutures. One th oh, wow! That was really good. A thousand DNA and 400 bucks? Jeez. Ooh, there you go. And we've unlocked it, guys. We did it! We unlocked it! Oh, my God! <laughs> Finally! Oh, 60 bucks? Oh, yeah! And all we need to do now is trade. Oh, we're going to do it. <gasps> Let's see. Uh, no. Uh, no. Definitely not. That's really bad. No. Uh, worse. Uh, good, yes. I'll take that one. Tell you what. And we'll just do uh, that one as well. Because that's not too bad. Uh, we'll claim that. All we now need to do is just one battle of different Cenozoic creatures, and we're good. Shall we do it, guys? Yeah, let's do it. What's spoiling? Uh, Glacier, where are they? Cenozoic, sorry. Cenozoic. One, two, and you. Now, last time we did this, we won. And I did it with uh, low-level creatures. The, uh, I think the time before that, I tried it. Whoa, look at that. Send us all creatures. Are, oh, I guess it's because it's a super rare, isn't it? Um, if you use high level creatures, I think you're more inclined to lose. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Majungasaurus, look at you there. Oh, you're not supposed to be in this time period now. How did you get here? The last dinosaur. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. Three. He can kill me, but that kind of opens him up. I don't know. I'm trying to remember what's weak against the cavern ones or the cave. Is planes good against cave? I think planes is good against cave. So we've got a good roster here. So one, two, three, factor in two, and then one reserve, because why not? And there it is. Beaver top tip. Always do two. If you're wanting to kill them, factor in two. If they have, if they can even have two, definitely factor it in. So one, two, three. Three. He's gonna have to go for an all-out four attack here. Alanqua, meaning Phoenix in Arabic, I think, isn't it? I remember that fact from like 2015. <laughs> Somebody telling me that. Ooh, am I? I'm just like a spung. I retain all the knowledge, useless or not. It still remains in my big brain. Oh, there you go. Lovely little tail whip. So not. Oh, look. Oh, blue eyes. Oh, what you gonna do, son? <gasps> He's so cute. Little button nose, Deodocorus. Remember when Ark came out with Deodocorus? Oh, <laughs> them were the days. Oh, he tail what me too. Am I good against it? Oh, I'm weak against it. Oops, wrong way around. Okay, well, he's dead anyway. One, two, do we even need to factor in? Rock slide. Da -da -da. Super effective. Bow. <laughs> you did it, you weird looking elephant. And on a little novice prize wheel. I think now the prize wheel depends on what creatures you put in. So you can't just get really good prizes if you put in weak creatures. <gasps> there you go. Ten. And with VIP, you double your VIP points. Which means you'll get even more uh, VIP creatures. So there you have it. And finally, 60 more books. And claim that. And of course, we'll get that. So there is a lot of bonuses to having VIP. And with this new update, I think it pushes me over the edge to get it. So here we go. Uh, uh, we got 55 bucks, no dinosaur, but DNA and uh, more VIP points. And, oh, we've got something else here. Ooh, what do we do? <gasps> oh, look at that. Even more super rare DNA going towards another. Oh, we got mono stegotops. <gasps> Let's go buy it. But no incubators are free, but we have bought it. So it is ready. I have Titanoboa. 
and two clinicans, I think it is, ready to, or getting ready to hatch. And that is going to have a wrap of this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. We've done a lot, seen a lot, won and opened a lot of packs. And until next time, I love you. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.